So Madison just fell asleep and I'm in the car. I'm about to drink my Starbucks. I get the white chocolate mocha. I get it with non-fat milk and no whipped cream. It's my favorite and I'm addicted, obviously. Like who isn't addicted to Starbucks? And then I got my sister, cause she's coming for lunch, my crazy ass bitch sister. <laughs> I got her a uh, caramel macchiato. And then we got some food. I got, she got a panini. And then I got the bacon gita breakfast sandwich. Mm, so good. I eat out way too much. I spend way too much money on food. But like, I just I don't love food, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna eat this. Madison's gonna nap. My sister's gonna come. And then my mom has to get a procedure done. So after she gets that, she's like, wants like a really bomb lunch because she hasn't been able to eat in like 24 hours. So she's um, gonna do that. And then I think we're gonna go get Seaport, this way overpriced deli out here on Long Island. It's insane. Um, but it's so good. The food is like bomb. So again, we're gonna spend some more money on lunch. And then I think tonight we're gonna- So the bitch is back. <laughs> no. Madison can't hold my phone because then it ends up on the floor. So me being the best sister that I am, I got her Starbucks for her lunch. Thank you, princess. Yes. And I had two of these. Charlotte Tilbury lip glosses, and I gave her one. I know I'm the best ever. So, yeah, that's what we're really doing right now. I don't know. Vlogging this, people vlog themselves doing a whole bunch of nothing. So, this is my nothing right now that we're doing. Madison's gonna eat lunch again, just like yesterday and every day. <laughs> Good to know. My spirits bright. She's like, Mom. Oh. You wanna dance? She's me. So also I just wanted to say that I figured since my vlogs have been like really long and YouTube's only letting me post 15 minutes per <laughs> vlog. So I'm going to break the day up into two. So like the morning and then like the afternoon from lunch on. And we'll have two vlogs up for today probably because the other one's loading right now. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know whoever's watching my vlog. I think I have like 10 people. <laughs> yeah, they're all family members too that are watching, but that's okay. So hi everyone, and yeah, so we're just gonna get some lunch, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so I just wanted to sit down and just like talk to things, just like talk in general to see if like anyone's out there that like has an opinion about this. Just I don't know because I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity right now to be with Madison 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> like I, I don't miss out on anything on her life in her life and it's here baby <laughs> and it's amazing and I know so many people who would like love to be a stay-at-home mom and just can't afford to stay home with their kids um but for me like it's kind of a struggle um it's like I know my job being home with her is like the most important thing in the world obviously taking care of her like all day long and all of her needs but for some reason it gets like lonely i don't know i can't i can't really explain it i feel like a little not productive and i feel a little lonely and everyone's always like how can you possibly feel that way because you're responsible for taking care of like another person the whole day and i don't know i just i and sometimes i just feel like really guilty about like feeling like this and before this, I was working um, as a behavioral therapist, and I would travel so much. Like, I'd work in the Bronx, in the city, um, in Brooklyn, Long Island. Like, I was just, like, always traveling all over the place. So, if, when I wasn't working, I was driving and doing something and bringing in money. So, I think it's just, like, really hard because I'm not bringing in any money, and I don't feel like I'm contributing. Although, like, my boyfriend tells me all the time, like, I have the hardest job in the world. And... It, it, it is hard. I don't know. It's like hard on, on your heart and like your mind because you're just like alone all day. Even though you are with Madison, but she is a year, like she's 14 months. Like there's only so much communication that we have that goes on throughout the day. And everyone else works. Everyone else, like my family, like everyone's always like out working and then they come home. And I kind of just like, what did I do all day? Like what, 
Like, what a, what did I do? I don't know. Maybe that's just how I'm feeling right now because no one's home with me right now. And I'm kind of just sitting here with me and this. And we just finished our lunch. Um, My mom's getting a procedure done. So we're going to go meet up with her and my dad. My dad drove her. So Madison's going to have her bottle soon. And we're going to go inside. But I don't know. What's, like, I would love to hear people's opinions about this. Um, or it's just some of my ideas that I could do things. Like, Madison's gone to, like, gym classes before. Um... And I try to like do crafts and like things at home, but there's only so much you can do with a 14 month old. Um, yeah, she's just like climbing around on like packages right now. What are you doing? Look, say hello. Ah! <laughs> you happy girl. You're the best. And I don't want it to sound like I'm like complaining or anything like that. Cause it's not like, I'm not, I don't know. It's a very weird thing. I, I guess when you're not a stay-at-home mom or you, like, worked before and you just now, all of a sudden, you're just, like, you're, you're home. <laughs> you're home. You're in charge of, like, doing things at home. And I don't know. For some reason, I just don't feel as productive as um, I did when I was, like, working and making my own money. And I really like that. So, obviously, Madison's going to go to preschool, you know, when she turns, like, three, I guess. Two and I was, like, a little over two when I went. So, maybe when she turns, like two and a half she'll go to preschool so I'll be able to work but for right now I'm just like I it's like a little bit of a struggle it's like I don't know I don't know I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I'm not but I yeah that's it so if anyone has their opinion I'd love to hear it and I will will vlog with you guys in a little bit. I know I always say that. It's so annoying. And when I like read back, watch back on my vlogs, I'm like, oh my god, I said I'll see you in a little bit. But I really will. We'll see you guys soon. Who is that? Yay! Hi, sweet baby. Say welcome! So, my parents just got back and they went to Seaport, the favorite deli that I was talking about. And this is my sandwich I'm gonna have for lunch. And I'm my mouth is like watering right now. It's so good. This is a boon, and what's on a boon is chicken cutlet, cheese, Thousand Island dressing, and also they usually put bacon, but I say no bacon. Don't really like it. And then I get this big ass iced tea, and I don't know, I've never had iced tea like this before. It's so good. And we have some <laughs> avocado for Madison, because she still she doesn't have all her teeth, so she still has a lot of soft things. And I'm just going to take a bite of this quick. I'll let you know how good this is. I feel bad eating it and you guys are like watching this video because it's just so good. Ready? Mm. <laughs> it's trying to eat from my mouth. I can't. Yum. I'm going to eat this. I'll we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm in the car right now. We actually just got to Target. I'm just like so annoyed. I was just talking to my mom because everyone i mean i understand like all the stores and the roads are like really busy everyone's out like shopping for the holidays that's coming and people are just so annoying with driving like i'm always in my car because i travel so much people riding my ass like how are you getting anywhere any quick quicker by just like riding the person in front of you's ass like there was no other way for me to go like i just i'm, at, I'm rushing to a what a red light like it's just the most annoying thing so anyways hi mom right <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera because she thinks i'm crazy might be anyways so we just got to target yeah so you guys can come along um yeah i'll let you know what i'm getting mom what am i getting you i'm checking for the sweatshirt, sweatshirt and dishwashing, detergent. dishwashing detergent and that's it for now. and that's it and i have to get mass and some packets of food and stuff so Let's see what we find. Let's go. Alright. Okay, 
Okay, so I just got back from Target. It was a little hard to like vlog in there when I was shopping around. It was kind of awkward. So I tried to show you guys like a little bit of what I got. Like I was just getting her like the baby food. I won't show that. But I got Madison these socks because she, <laughs> for some reason, her socks disappear all the time. And then I got her this, my first Crayola, I don't know, it was Mickey and Minnie. Just something to do. She can color and it doesn't get anywhere but the paper. So I like that. And I also got her a Minnie Mouse shirt. I love Target clothes. I'm like obsessed. This is just a Disney Minnie Mouse. And I got her a size 4 extra small. But she wears it just like longer. Excuse me, excuse me. Melissa, can I have your autograph please? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. You're a, you're a gem. Bye, John. That's my dad being lame. But, so I got her this anyways. It's just going to like sit longer on her body, which is like really cute. She loves Minnie. Madison, look what I got, babe. Look, Minnie Mouse. Oh, mommy, that's so nice. Madison. Go see Minnie. Go see Minnie. Come here. Go slow, Baba. Come here. Come here, right here. Over here. Come here. Come here. Whoa. Whoa. Look. No, you don't want Minnie Mouse. Look, baby. Look, Minnie. Minnie Mouse. You love it. Give Minnie a kiss. Aww. This is so sweet. Okay, I'm going to finish though. Okay. So, oh wait, hold on, babes. We're almost done here. So then, I also got Madison a pair of leggings. Her legs are really long, so I like to get the 2T size, even though she fits in 18 months right now. But these are really cute and comfortable. She, we have a Christmas party on Sunday, so I want her to wear black leggings, and I don't have them with me. They're all in Brooklyn. So, what else did we get here? Oh, I just found my mom some soap for the dishwasher we ran out and you know how dishes can just like build up my mom's been washing them because we didn't have any i got mass and also this little teether she's been teething really bad like her back teeth are all coming in now so you like it we'll see um i got this so cute this is like a pajama top but it's a full oh i love it and it's got like little details and it's just like a nice night shirt. It doesn't come up pants, it's just like the extra long ones. Super, super cute. Love that. Got that in a small. And we got Madison. All her different foods that she has. Oh wait, babes. Oh, you wanna say hello? <laughs> and then, oh, I got Madison these Yoji melts. Here you want one, babe? Oh, I know. Okay. Chill. What do you think? No? Maybe? Okay, what else did I get? Oh, got this jacket. Oh. It's fake for obviously. I got this at Target. I got it in a size medium. It was $50. And this is like part of my New Year's outfit. I start thinking about it like two months in advance so i really wanted to do like fur coat and then just like a matching top and bottoms so let's see oh so pretty and it's warm but still like fashionable it's like a light tan and i'm obsessed what do you think babe what do you think do you like this yeah so i really Love it, and that's all we got. So right now, me and Madison, we're gonna go. Oh, careful, babe! We're gonna go make some cookies. You wanna make cookies? <gasps> Let's go get cookies. Okay, say bye, friends. Bye bye. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope everyone's having a good night. Mwah. Bye. Bye. Take care.